when the boy was born. Like all Spartans, he was inspected. If he'd been small or puny, or sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. In the time he could stand, he was baptized in the fire of combat. <laughs> Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Taught that death on the battlefield in service to Sparta was the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. At age seven, as is customary in Sparta, the boy was taken from his mother and plunged into a world of violence. Manufactured by 300 years of Spartan warrior society, to create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. By rod and lash, the boy was punished. Taught to show no pain, no mercy. Constantly tested, tossed into the wild, left to pit his wits and will against nature's fury. His form. Perfect. And so the boy, given up for dead, returns to his people, to sacred Sparta, a king! Our king! Ho, ho, ho! This beast is made of men and horses, swords and spears. An army of slaves, vast beyond imagining, ready to devour tiny Greece. Ready to snuff out the world's one hope for reason and justice. A beast approaches. 